Lebanon, how are you doing? I'm good, Pearl, and thanks for having me. Lebanon, between having touched down late yesterday and having uh, the training session with the team today, how has the mood been like in, in Sousse? Look, I think that the, the players, well, they did arrive late and uh, they were tired. In fact, uh, we're driving back uh, now where we're staying uh, from the training session. Um, we were only allowed 15 minutes, uh, but couldn't really, you know, get uh, th that spirit uh, from, from the players uh, because, you know, it was only 15 minutes. But I think the players now have, you know, uh, recuperated from the long flight and, uh, you know, they're a, bit, they're a bit more energetic now. So I think uh, everything I will not have much of a problem, you know, to get the players into the mood for tomorrow's game. What can we ex when can we expect the announcement of the starting 11? And um, are there any injury reports? I know you say you were only there for 15 minutes, but has there been any communication from the club as far as any injury reports and so forth? Um, the team that uh, came here, all the players are, are fit to play. Uh, there are no injury reports. Um, and the team will probably be announced, you know, I think the players will know by this evening who will be in the starting 11. But what I can mention, uh, Pearl, is that I think the bulk of the players that started last weekend, you know, uh, will play. We might see an Isafa coming uh, coming to the starting lineup. We know that Chandani Tumayolo uh, did not travel with the team because of uh, the second yellow card that he got last weekend. So uh, in, in that position, Isafa will certainly, uh, uh, you know, fill up that gap. So that's one of the changes that uh, we can expect. Uh, but we'll know uh, by tomorrow morning which, uh, which players will be in the starting 11. Do you know how the team has been received by the home supporters? Um, you know, one, one, one very uh, funny thing is that, you know, people are very excited. Even when we are, I'm walking around with my cameraman, uh, Herbert Mamela, is that everybody will be shouting Orlando, Orlando, Orlando. So in terms of, of, of the atmosphere here, everybody is excited that Orlando Pirates can come to play. You know, they've been complimenting Orlando Pirates at the how they've been playing. They you know that they're a strong team. In fact, you know, <clears throat> somehow they are doubting that their own uh, team here uh, at Wild in Sus will be able to triumph tomorrow. So it will be a tough battle, and I think, you know, that hype, you know, um, you know, it's creating an exciting mood for tomorrow's game. It's very pleasant to hear that there is a hype following that terror attack. Has there been perhaps any further communication to, to, to the team and the reporters that are there in terms of disruptions that may be expected for tomorrow, ahead of tomorrow's game? Nothing has been uh, reported, uh, but one thing I can also uh, confirm is that the, the level of security is very high. Uh, it's tight, um, you know, and we can expect that as well at the, at, at the game tomorrow, you know, ahead of the game. Uh, when the team arrived yesterday, the, you know, they were escorted by, by a lot of uh, uh, police. Uh, and, I mean, the police uh, visibility here in Sus, you know, you can actually see it. You know, there are a lot of police everywhere. Uh, there are a lot of roadblocks as well. So in terms of safety, I think, uh, you know, the... Everything should be okay for tomorrow, um, but nothing has been reported of any uh, disruptions. Taking it back to the team now, Lebo, you say that you anticipate that the, the starting 11 ahead of tomorrow's game will probably be, be the, the same guys that started last week. Um, according to your football knowledge and experience, what are some of the important changes um, that, that Orlando Pirates may need to, to look out for for tomorrow? Um, I think <laughs> looking at that they struggled last week to to uh, to, to get the to get uh, goals. Uh, you know, they, they 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 struggled to get goals last week. And I think uh, looking at how uh, uh, Etual was playing, you know, they they packed a lot of bodies at the back. So I think one of the other changes that could could uh, that that everything that could make is maybe putting in three uh, strikers up front with Lusano Majoro, Kamsan Nakabuza, and uh, <laughs> Kermit Erasmus. Um, you probably you know, try and push up uh, Ciso Mieli as well, and maybe in Pomakola and keep uh, Isasa uh, in the, at that centre, you know, because it's more defensive. So I think that would be the changes in terms of tactics, but uh, we know that uh, Eric Kinka enjoys a 4 4 2 uh, uh, two formation. Do we know what the starting lineup from the Tunisian side is going to be? Uh, from the Tunisian side, uh, we haven't received any communication in regarding the starting 11. In most cases, uh, perhaps, uh, what these teams would do is that they would uh, give the starting 11, you know, closer to the, uh, announce the starting 11 closer to the match. This is probably around uh, 12 o'clock midday. Um, that, that's when they would be able to announce. But probably because it's a, uh, you know, everybody is, is the high-profile match and everybody is interested, they'll probably announce that team as well this evening.
And as far as the actual encounter tomorrow, Lebo, what can we expect? Uh, it, it, it's a final, it's a big one, a very important one for Orlando Pirates. And what do you think it would mean, not only to, to, to the team, but to Eric Tinkler as well, who's literally carried this team throughout their, uh, their, 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 their seeking continental glory? Uh, speaking to Eric Tinkler um, this morning, you know, he, he mentioned one thing that uh, he's mentioned, I think, last week as well, is that, he, you know, when he took over the reins as the coach, his objective was to reach the final of, of, a, of, a, competent, of a continental competition. Um, and that has been the objective of the team ever since he has uh, taken uh, in charge of the team. And, you know, winning tomorrow, he said that it would be special, you know, because then they would have uh, met the mandate that they set for themselves. Uh, as players, as the technical uh, team, you know. Um, so, so I think tomorrow should be special should uh, Orlando Pirates uh, win this game. And, um, you know, looking at, at, at how they have come through over the past two years, you know, for me, not only being South African, but I think, you know, this is the time that, you know, Pirates should actually win it. I think they deserve it. They've put a lot of effort under difficult circumstances, under difficult conditions. So this would be the right time for the team to win it. However, Looking at uh, Etual as well, you know, and looking at what has been happening, uh, you know, uh, in, in Tunisia, there were three terrorist attacks uh, this year already. You know, one of the players uh, mentioned that, you know, that actually tomorrow they'll be playing, you know, for those people that died uh, in those uh, terror attacks. Mm. Level, it seems like we are definitely in for a treat. And of course, if you are South African, you best be behind the under Pirates. This is not about club glory, but it is about national pride. That was our reporter, Lebo Hang Dube, all the way in Sus Tunisia, ahead 